Today we're going to show you how to align multiple vocals instantly in Reaper 5.983 or later using the VST3 ARA version of Vocaline Project 5. If you're using an older version of Reaper, please refer to the Vocaline Project 5 manual for instructions. This video will help get you started and more in-depth tutorials can be found on our website. First up, let's listen to what we're working with before we do any processing. As you can hear, there are some obvious timing discrepancies between the doubles and lead vocal, which we can fix in seconds with Vocaline Project 5. Before we go any further, there's some terminology I'd like to bring to your attention. In Vocaline, we call the lead vocal the guide, and tracks like doubles, backgrounds and harmonies are dubs. We first need to send our guide and dub tracks to Vocaline, and the easiest way is to insert Vocaline on our first track, then simply drag and drop onto the other tracks. Alternatively, we can also insert Vocaline onto Reaper's media items as take effects by clicking this icon on the item. Once you've inserted the plugin on the first item, you can drag and drop it to the rest, just like in the mixer. Now that you've seen how that's done, let's go back to using Vocaline as a track insert effect. Once Vocaline is inserted on your tracks, choose the guide, which is our lead vocal track, by selecting those media items in the arrange window. Now press Capture Guide in Vocaline. Please note that if you're working with multiple dubs, we recommend you select a suitable preset in Vocaline Project 5 before capturing your dub tracks, as once your dubs are captured, changes to any Vocaline settings will be applied to the individually selected dub. Now capture your dubs by selecting all of the dub tracks media items in the arrange window and clicking Capture Dub in Vocaline Project 5. This will capture everything in one pass and the new Smart Align feature makes your workflow an absolute breeze. Note that depending on how many items you have selected, this can take a moment as Vocaline automatically starts processing dubs with the preset you have selected. As you can see, Vocaline has now created output tracks, which are new versions of our dub tracks with the timing of our guide. Remember, once you've captured your dubs, any changes you make to Vocaline Project 5 settings will only be applied to the currently selected dub. To change the settings for an individual dub, select any media item on the dub track in Reaper's Arrange window and adjust the settings in Vocaline. You can always check which dub you're adjusting by referring to the label here. As we're using the ARA2 version of Vocaline, the audio in Reaper has been automatically updated, so to audition, we just need to press play. But first, let's listen to how our vocals sounded before. That's sounding great. The last step is to commit the changes we've made. And the easiest way to do this in Reaper is to select all of our tracks then choose Render Tracks to Mono Stem Tracks and Mute Originals. Now select the original unprocessed tracks and hide them with the action Hide Tracks in TCP and Mixer. <laughs> 